brown, tan, almond, caramel, cappuccino, amber, latte, dark chocolate, black woman, my mocha skin, red. What up, brothers and sisters, kings and queens? How are you today? I'm a black and Peace, woman. blessings, and prosperity to you. My name is Letitia Edwards, also known as Queen Letitia. And today's video is titled, The Beautiful Thing About Melanin. So what is melanin? Let me just go read from Shazan's book, Journey of a Sister, because that is where me did first learn about melanin. And she have a special offer for the paperback coming out later this month. But in the meantime, me are going to read from the ebook of the third edition in year two. And the subtitle is, It's All in the Skin. So in this part of the story, Suzanne is attending black history classes. And in this class, she learn about melanin. This complex biochemical pigment, Suzanne discovered, is actually a blessing, not a curse. Brown to black in color, melanin can be found in the skin, hair, eyes, brain, and organs. It plays an important role in the function of the brain and nervous system and is concentrated in highly functional areas of the body, such as the genitals. Hmm, I wonder what is the reason for that. When operating at its peak, melanin provides a natural barrier from cancer-causing UV rays, reducing the risk of cancer. It also maintains moisture in the outer layers of the skin, slowing down the signs of aging. It absorbs and neutralizes free radicals and protects against radiation. Melanin is also found in nature and in the dark matter that permeates the universe. And it's what makes melanin-dominated people more attuned to nature. Melanin is secreted from a small gland in the middle of the brain called the pineal gland. And it's a known link between the physical and spiritual worlds and provide the connection to higher consciousness, creativity, spiritual awareness, and being able to manifest in the physical world. Healthy melanin has the ability to absorb all kind of energy, including ultraviolet rays and electromagnetic waves, which it then turn into energy for the body for use. Melanin is stimulated by sunlight, sound, and colors. Hmm. Unhealthy melanin affects the psyche negatively causing the person to act in ways contrary to them true nature. So you see, it's our melanin, which is why black don't crack, and why we get charged up by the sun. The UV rays is not harmful to us. In fact, it's where we get our energy from. And we had some beautiful sunshine this week, and now me feel fully charged. Yes, my melanin is popping. Besides, how them can call it the harmful UV rays of the sun? Without the sun, there would be no life on this planet. It's only harmful to certain beings. I mean, I even know if me can call them human beings because them can't take the sun. And all them are talk about is global warming as an excuse for block it out. It's not harmful to us. We is the true human beings. Now, some of us are put on sunblock and talk about you need to protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. You ever hear such foolishness? We is people of the sun. You ever hear of anyone in Africa die from skin cancer? Now, if you is melanin rich and you get skin cancer, no blame the sun. It's the chemicals in the cream that you put upon your skin that have a negative reaction with the UV rays of the sun. No blame the sun. In the summer, you are put on sunblock. Then in the winter, you are take vitamin D tablets because you're vitamin D deficient, which you got to just get from the sun. That no make no sense to me. And what about you sisters who are use skin lightening creams? Bleaching your skin? 
And some of you older women should have known better, but you are doing the same thing. You don't know that whatever you put upon your skin go into your bloodstream and into all the other organs in your body. So when you put them cream with all them chemicals upon your skin, your melanin-rich skin, your beautiful, dark, glowing skin, your perfectly fine skin, what do you think will happen? Maybe not straight away. It's more of a slow poisoning. But there are natural things you can put upon your skin, like shea butter, coconut oil, raw cocoa butter, even olive oil. You can even mix them all together and make yourself a nice cream that will nourish your melanin and all the organs in your body. We're not even going to get into the chemicals in our hair care products. That will have to be a whole nother video. Now, me did do my own research after reading Shazan's book. And you know what me did discover? Melanin! I sell upon the black market for $438 per gram. That's even more than silver and gold. Silver and gold have I none. But me is melanin rich. And if you have that dark, dark skin, you better know your worth. Now make them fool you into believing say your dark skin is unattractive. Because while you are bleach your skin to get lighter, them are tan for them skin to get darker. Them know say you is the cream of the crop. And talking of cream of the crop, now me want to address the brothers them. How you make the white man fool you into believing, say, the dark-skinned woman is undesirable? Him tell you, say, the white woman is the standard of beauty and you abandon for your own woman and go run after them. As a result, a whole heap of dark-skinned black woman get left upon the shelf for the white man for school pop because you don't want them. And the white man just a look upon you and a laugh because him see, say, you fall for him social engineering trick. You been duped. It's so you weak-minded, sir. The black woman would have sit on there and wait for her black king all till she reach menopause. Some of them not even marry. Some of them not have no picnic. Some of them just a focus upon them career rather than end up with someone else. While for them perfect match a run one with all kind of other women. Me now talk about all our men. And me want to take some time to appreciate the kings who still love and appreciate the beautiful dark-skinned black woman but the rest of you how you expect to get any respect when you're not even respect for your own woman go learn about melanin so you can fix your mind now last year shazan did do a video about who the black woman is as part of her black history month vlog series and since his story is not our story and neither is our history just for one month me I go put the link to it in the description for you for watch. Because it will help you for learn, for love, respect, and protect the black woman. I'm a black woman. And yes, this is true indeed. I have lips, hips, and fingertips to have to be Topped with attitude and soul to help me reach any one of my goals. All you can see is the external, beautified portrait of me. But the real me is a spirit that owns no color But is full of color, has wings to fly And is more free than the wind that cools the mocha skin I'm wrapped in I'm a black woman, yes, yes, and blessed to be For there are some that desire to be like me I was created by God with a body, mind, soul, spirit, and intellect And it's His glory my life must reflect Black is beauty. God created me this way. I had no choice. Now that's a fact. So don't look at me and hate me just because I'm black. And if you is melanin rich, that mean if you is very dark skin, you're lucky. Now mix it by water in it down because there is a major drive. We get melanin rich people to mix with white people. And I see them socially engineering Asian people or Chinese people for mix with white. Only melanin rich people. You ever stop to ask yourself why? 
them only are do it for them own self preservation because we have the strongest genes when it comes to genetics the dark skinned black woman is at the top of the gene pool that is why she is known as the mother of all nations because all other variations of human beings can come from her the white man is at the bottom of the gene pool so what him do him put himself at the top and the dark skinned black woman at the bottom and as Shazan quite rightly asked in her book how long did it take him to turn everything upside down and how long will it take to turn everything back the right way around now there's a video on the journey of our sister youtube channel called the black woman and mitochondrial dna so this white woman i talk about who the black woman is and the amount of white people who refuse for belief said the black woman have the strongest genes. Whereas the ancestral mothers will say, if you is white and you truly believe, say you is superior because of the color of your skin, you must have a very low IQ. But me now try to cause no division because me think say we all been duped. And this thing with believing say you is superior because of the color of your skin is just another divide and conquer tactic. We all have to unite and fight the negative forces who is trying to destroy us and the planet we live on. Shazan did cover that in the last two chapters of our book. So you see, melanin is what gives us our color. And as melanin rich people, we have to know how to look after our melanin so we can operate at our peak. Because they may use all kind of weapon against our melanin. They may use food against our melanin. They may use music. They may even use the weather and block out the sun so we can charge up for our melanin. But there is some things you can do. Like for instance, you can take the green powders like moringa, spirulina, chlorella. These plants already absorb the UV rays of the sun. So all you have to do is eat them, sprinkle them upon your food and get the vitamin D that way. You can even add bao bao powder. That is another good one. And it comes from Africa. And when you see the sun shine, get out into the sun and top up your melanin. But nobody talk about you know not want to get any darker. Why you have bleached your skin? Other people have tanned themselves to get darker. Go outside, put your foot on the ground and ground yourself. Take off your shoes and get the electrons from Mother Earth. We are electromagnetic beings and we can get the electrons we need from the Earth. So while it's summer, while it's on a shine and while it's warm outside, go ground yourself. Felicia did do a very good video about the importance of the grounding and putting your foot on Mother Earth. And we will put the link in the description. So this is the symbol for 666. Now make them fool you and tell you say, this is the mark of the beast. Because anything to do with blackness, them want to demonize it. They stand for six proton, six neuron and six electron. Go do your research and while you're at it, study neuromelanin. That's why it's important to love yourself. And for love yourself, you must know yourself. That's why it's important to go upon the journey of self-discovery. Because when you truly love yourself, you won't allow no one to abuse you. And you won't abuse yourself neither. You understand what me I say? All right. Them not teach nothing about melanin in the education system. But when you learn who you is, when you remember who you are, Game over. Remember what me did say, remember me? It mean fit put yourself back together again. So remember to remember who you are. Love and light to honor. Wow. Oh, before me forget, Shazan did tell me to tell you, say, she have a special promotion coming up for your book launch. So when you pre-order your personally signed paperback of the third edition by the 30th of September, you will get a free set of postcards of all her art, 
which is used to illustrate the story. So may I go put the link where you can pre-order your paperback in the description and hope to see you at the book launch. Going to be in London in England. I hope you can make it still. <laughs> Love and light to all of us. Click on the link in the description to pre-order your personally signed paperback. You can also download the ebook and listen to the audiobooks free on YouTube. You can also borrow the ebooks from Amazon's Lending Library. Letitia is one of four fictional characters I've created to expand on the topics raised in my novel. Click on the link in the description to the playlist. How did Adam and Eve become husband and wife? They had sex, innit? New means they had sex.